How can I reduce conflict in my life and in my relationships? First of all, don't take this too seriously. Let yourself engage with fun and joy and let yourself be in a space where you're not too hard on yourself because often it's when we're hard on ourselves that we're hard on other people. And let yourself recognize that there are ways to be with yourself that are really kind and, and gentle and compassionate and loving. And there are ways that are not. So let yourself be in a space that you let yourself notice that you crave love and joy and peace and ease in your own life. Well, you're no different from anyone else. So allow yourself to, to engage with life mindfully. If you find yourself in conflict often, then that means you need some time out. You need to spend quality time with yourself. You need to be in a place where you're allowing yourself to treat yourself really well. Have some fun, relax, breathe, eat good food, enjoy being in this physical body. The more you can experience joy and delight for yourself, the easier it is to share and give it to other people. You have to receive to be able to give. Know that that's a noble cause to receive to be able to give. And then you'll bring less conflict into life, more joy, more fun, more engagement. But don't expect to be giving from an empty well. That's just too hard. That's not kind to yourself and it's not kind to other people. You're showing up half full and expecting that you're going to be able to engage with other people in a really confident and fun and loving way. Spend some beautiful quality time with yourself recouping and recovering from being a human being on planet earth. Love yourself, love your life to the best of your capacity in fun and joyful ways. Be more childlike, be more innocent and let yourself just spend some quality time and space with yourself and then and only then engage with other people. You'll have a lot less conflict and people will appreciate your presence and you'll be the bringer of peace in many, many lives. Hard and challenging out there. Some people are prone to conflict because they just weren't taught another way. Love yourself unapologetically, first and foremost. Do what's kind and loving and joyful for you. And you'll feel yourself filling up and being able to give from the overflow. Step back from all conflict. Don't try to do this in the midst of a battle. Just let yourself get space. Space is very healing. Space is really powerful in it. And love rides on and thrives in space. So just get some space so you can be objective and aware, non-judgmental of yourself and others. And then allow yourself to go back into a space where you're loving and filling yourself up with love and joy and peace and ease first and foremost. And you'll see it's a lot easier to engage with others. Always important throughout the day to give yourself little mindfulness breaks, just little bites of mindfulness are enough. Just take a breath and feel how your body's feeling now. Take a breath and see where your mind is. Is it all scattered and, and, and in pain or in anger? Just take a breath, just take a little breath and allow yourself to just notice what's the state of my being now. That really helps with conflict because you'll know to step back and not engage when you're feeling separate from yourself. The divine mind feels connected to love, connected to peace, connected to ease. That's the truth of you. It observes objectively and it loves us impeccably. The separate mind feels like it has to perform and to, to always overextend and never feels like it's enough. If you're engaged with that mind, you're going to go into conflict. You're going to go into battle with yourself and others. Just step back, objectively watch your life with appreciation. Don't judge. Don't feel guilt. Just watch and notice everyone's doing the best they can. Even if it's lousy or miserable, everyone's doing the best they can. The more you watch objectively and step back, leave space, the easier it's going to be to disengage from conflict and to not even to get into conflict in the first place. Your love, love yourself first and foremost, and it'll all be easy from there. A lot easier anyway. <laughs>